Marion, Virginia. A small town in southwestern Virginia sits along the main traffic artery of Interstate 81. This small community is the county seat of Smith County with a population of approximately 6,000. 1927 brought the building of the General Francis Marion Hotel on Main Street in Marion, Virginia. Charles C. Lincoln built the hotel and two years later in 1929, he built the Lincoln Theater just a few feet from the hotel. In the mid 20th century, radio made its appearance in Marion with the opening of the WMEV radio station. The Lincoln Theater was initially a movie venue showing films of the day, but it also would host live musical events. The original Carter family appeared there, as did Gene Autry, the Stanley Brothers, Rory Rogers with his horse Trigger, Minnie Pearl, Flatt and Scruggs, Ernest Tubb, and many other stars of the day. The Lincoln Theater is one of three remaining Mayan-style theaters in the United States. When the theater was built, Lola Poston was commissioned to paint murals in the theater to represent American and local history. A major fact that differentiates the Lincoln Theater from other theaters is its unique construction for live sound. The company who originally designed and installed the acoustics for the Lincoln Theater were specialists in working with opera houses and Broadway theaters, which at the time did not have amplification electronically. Special plasters were used, which gives the Lincoln Theater unique and outstanding acoustic qualities for live performances. The Lincoln Theater operated for over 40 years, but was shuttered in 1977. The building fell into disrepair over the next two decades and eventually sported a 50-foot hole in the roof letting rain, snow, and all forms of weather into the once gathering place for the area. The Lincoln Theater seemed doomed for the wrecking ball until a group in Marion decided they could not destroy their beloved Lincoln Theater. After much planning and hard work by the community, the Lincoln Theater was restored and reopened on May 15, 2004 with a much larger live performance stage, dressing rooms, and lighting system. A small group of business leaders in Marion, Virginia had a vision. Joe Ellis, Sam Russell, and others brainstormed the idea of using the Lincoln Theater as a place to present a nationally syndicated concert series to air across America on public television. After all, this region is where the music was born. The group planned the television show and named it Song of the Mountains, and the show was launched in June of 2005. Hello folks, and welcome back to Song of the Mountains. I'm your host, Tim White. This ain't the Holy Ghost, I don't know, that just suits me. This ain't the Holy Ghost, I don't know, never had felt such a love before, and that just suits me, that just suits me. The very first shows were taped and directed by Jack Neal from Roanoke, Virginia's PBS affiliate, Blue Ridge PBS. Folks, here we are at Song of the Mountains, a typical uh, Saturday night, typically the first Saturday night of each month, but uh, sometimes we'll get off of that and go to maybe a second Saturday of the month. I always just check our website, songofthemountains.org, and uh, we're coming around here a little bit. We're about an hour before showtime, and I thought we'd just show you what it looks like around front with some of the folks gathering to watch Song of the Mountains. Come on this way. Right here is uh, Lola's. It's the box office and the gift shop for Song of the Mountains where a lot of the bands set up their record table and they sell their wares and people meet and greet in here. Tell the folks where y'all are from. We're from Indiana. 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 What, is this your first time to Marion? It Virginia? is, sure is. Yep. First time to Marion. Uh, yeah, we've been to Virginia yes. before we're not here. Now you yes. watch our show on, on public television Every up Saturday there? Every Saturday night we can. 
What brings you here this particular night? Yes, we just wanted we to come. We just decided to get away, and we thought this would be a good place to come. We come. wanted to come to see your show. Well, thank you. Have you and never I'm, been inside the theater? No. no, and we're in our early 80s, and it's just such a thrill. Production trucks and cameras were rented to produce the first two and a half years of concert tapings. In the third year of production, Song of the Mountains was able to secure funding to purchase their own equipment, and that resulted in more shows being taped. The town of Marion, the Lincoln Theater has been put on the map due to the series Song of the Mountains. Welcome to Song of the Mountains. I'm Tim White. We're in Marion, Virginia's historic Lincoln Theater, situated smack in the middle of where country music began. Now, it was nearly 80 years ago, in fact, specifically the summer of 1927, when the event that Johnny Cash called the most important event in the history of country music occurred. A 35-year-old record producer was contracted by New Jersey's Victor Talking Machine Company to travel to America's Southland to scout out and record musical talent. Back in 2017, Song of the Mountains was designated the official television show of Virginia. Song of the Mountains is on approximately 190 public television outlets across America, with a potential reach of over 142 million viewers. The pandemic took its toll on Song of the Mountains in 2020 like it did on all entertainment venues, but the show never missed a beat on national television. Even though the show had to be shut down for 10 months, Song of the Mountains started back up to a limited audience on January 15, 2021. And in addition to being nationally televised, the show started to stream live on the internet. It's a big job just getting by with nine kids and a wife. I've been a working man dang near all of my life, and I keep on a working. As long as these old hands are fit to you. Hey, 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 hey. What a crap! The Cornfield Friends salute Mary in Virginia. Population 6,500. Salute! All right. Song of the Mountains has been a wonderful concert series starting back in 2005. Artists like Tom T. Hall, Mike Seeger, Dr. Ralph Stanley, Kathy Matea, Jimmy Fortune, Riders in the Sky, Jesse McReynolds, and many others have performed on the show. The show's host, Yours truly, Tim White, has been there since day one and continues to help with a lifetime of knowledge in this music genre, and at times, I perform on the show.
Johnny Kerr. Well, I hear the train is coming. It's rolling around the bend. I ain't seen the sunshine. I don't know when. Well, I'm stuck in Folsom in prison. And time keeps dragging on. That train keeps rolling on down the sand. Song of the Mountains, Marion, Virginia, and the Lincoln Theater, keeping the music alive in southwestern Virginia, the United States, and around the world. Song of the Mountains has a fantastic crew, which includes professional sound, light, and video pros, headed up by our producer, director, Andre Burris. Many volunteers continue to help our shows, including the Appalachian Music Heritage Foundation Board of Directors and the Town of Marion. To support Song of the Mountains, visit songofthemountains.org. That's songofthemountains.org. The Appalachian Music Heritage Foundation, Song of the Mountains is a nonprofit 501c3 organization, and your tax deductible donations are appreciated. Come see Song of the Mountains at the Lincoln Theater in Marion, Virginia. Remember our website, songofthemountains.org, for all the information and our schedule of concerts. Song of the Mountains, keeping the music alive. If you like bluegrass, old time, Celtic, gospel, and Americana music, please visit songofthemountains.org. <laughs>